Hi everyone, in this video we will be creating our ship class. As mentioned in the first video, a ship has four characteristics. The size of the ship, the letter of the ship, the direction of the ship, as well as the coordinate of the front of the ship. But before all of that, I want to introduce the five types of ships in this game. We have an aircraft of size 5 that is represented by the letter of A, a battleship of size 4 represented by the letter B, a submarine of size 3 represented by the letter S, a destroyer ship of size 3 represented by the letter D, and lastly a patrol boat of size 2 that is represented by the letter of P. Now we can move on to create our instance data which comprises of the four characteristics I mentioned before. So first is the size of the ship, which is a type int, the character of the ship, and the letter of the ship, which is a type character, the direction of the ship, which is a type R, and lastly, the coordinate of the ship, which is a type port. Now we can move to create our overloaded constructor, which takes the ship's letter, the ship's direction, and the ship's coordinate as parameters. So if the letter that's given is, a, is an A, that means it's referred to an aircraft, which means the size of the ship will be 5. If the letter of the ship was B, the size of the ship would be 4, because that's referring to a battleship. If the letter of the ship was an S, or letter was a D that refers to either a submarine or a destroyer ship, which both have a size of 3. If it's none of those things, then the size of the ship would refer to the patrol boat, which is of size 2. Next, we can work on our getter methods for all and each of the instance data. So first, we have the size of the ship. the sides and we have the getting the letter similarly we have the get direction method to try and speed direction and lastly we have the getter method of the court to train the court. That finishes our ship class. Stay tuned to the next video where we'll be going over the board class. Thank you.